Jay Martinez with Fight Hub TV, Robert Garcia here after a huge victory, another championship to your stable. How does that feel so far? You know what, these are, this, this are, this are, this are the great feelings, man. You know, when you get a, a fighter that, that you brought in from the amateurs to, to pro debuts and then make, becoming world champions, so that's, uh, that, that can't can beat that, you know. It's not about which fighter is making more money or which fighter <coughs> is, is going to, you know, be get you bigger bigger paydays you know what i mean it's about uh it's about you know having these kids from when they were kids to to one day becoming world champions there, there's there's not a better feeling than that bro now let's go back when you're saying they were you were they were kids 10 years ago there was Correct. a video of that when you yes. posted with nornito Dornier, you were in the corner yes and bam rodriguez was just you know doing shadow boxing with nornito Dornier. it goes all the way back that, 10 it, years was, ago. it was in san antonio when nornito Dornier uh fought a puerto rican uh <laughs> Well, he fought a Puerto Rican on, on the Chavez uh, Junior undercard, mm -hmm. and uh, that's when we we uh, we met. I met I met those kids, you know. Uh, Bam, you know, like you guys see in the video, he stepped in the ring and did some shadow boxing with Nonito. Nonito right away said, "This kid's gonna be good." And look, now uh, now the kid, ten years later, ex almost exactly ten years later, is a world champion. Let's talk about the fight. As the fight kept on progressing, what were you telling Bam? To you know, was he keep composure? Because it looked like he was taking over after the second, third round. You know what? That fight was tough. You know, uh, Cuadras was in great shape. He's a warrior. He's a veteran. And uh, and I knew at any moment, you know, if if uh, if Bam lost his concentration and 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 and, and try to do different things, he could, he could get caught. Because Cuadras has power and has the experience. So we always try to remind him, you know, keep your composure, keep that jab, keep that jab, stay stay at, at, in and out, you know, don't get too close to him. Be careful with those with those body shots, those uppercuts, you know, because he, he, he threw, he went to the body a lot and uh, Bam is telling us right now, you know, his body is sore, he's hurt. Uh, <laughs> he the did body say shots, that right now, the body, shot, the body he's shots very sore. did hurt him. So, so you know, they, you know, he still, you know, fought his heart up and, and pulled off the decision. If it was up to you, what would you like to happen next for Bam? <laughs> you know what? Uh, this was, you know, he had never gone past eight rounds, so this fight showed him a lot. This fight uh, made him a better fighter now. A better, now it's gonna be easier. This is the first time in a he's tough. Still a kid. He's only, he just turned 22 two weeks ago, so Not you even know, 20 fights. So, so yeah, four, 15 fights now. You know, so so this uh, so this fight made him even a better fighter because. Uh, he had never been in in, in, in a, a fight like like he was today. Uh, eight rounds was the most he had been, and and uh, against lesser opposition and, and, and opponents, you know. So so definitely this is gonna make him a better a better fighter, and he's gonna you know he could fight he could compete any against anybody at this division. But you know he's got his brother that's also a champion there. So so you know I know Bam could easily make 112 and 108 if we if we get that that one title opportunity fight against the 108 champions, You're then we're gonna, we're gonna take it, but they're not gonna want to. I, I, I could almost see that none of the champions are gonna go straight into a fight against Bam. I don't think so. I don't see that scene. Maybe, maybe 112, but uh, you know, one, one, 115, he could compete. You know, they're already, Eddie Hunter already talked about him and Gallo Estrada and, and you know, this kid that, uh, this Thailand kid that, that, uh, that Quadras was supposed to fight. Wrong you know, exactly. But, uh, but in reality, you know, I think those are those are fights that his brother needs, and I, I want those fights for for Josh. I think Bam could easily come down to 108 or 112. But uh, look, we're not we're not vacating the title. If that opportunity comes and we get that that call, huge fight, like Eddie said, maybe San Antonio, then we're gonna jump on it. Thank you, Robert. Robert, uh, besides that fight, I want to talk a little bit more. Obviously, you have a lot of experience in in the, in the corner, in a lot of league fights. You know, the rumor right now is that Canelo, Charlo, Bivol, Triple G. What fight interests you, you more to see and which could be the toughest for him at this I moment? Think, I think I think the the, the three are, are big names, big fights that the fans want to see. I think uh, a third fight with, with Triple G would probably be the one that may, maybe makes the most sense because they are, the, they, they, they do have two fights and most of the people thought Triple G won the first fight, so I think he needs. It would be good for him to to give us the third fight, but again, a Charlo fight would be insane. You know, Charlo's a big name, great champion. Everybody's talking about that fight, so they want to see that fight. Uh, I think the most dangerous might be the one at, at 175 because it's just a bigger guy, very strong, very dangerous. So he might take a lot of risk there. But uh, but uh, either one, either one is going to be huge. Could we see Canelo down the future? You know, potentially. 
be undisputed at 175, although you said it could be I, the I, toughest. I do believe so, you know, they are very strong, they are very tough, but I think he's got the skills, he's got the talent to beat them, you know, but, but they won't be easy, it, they will be tough, he's moving up in weight, you know, we just talked about Bam, you know, moving up two divisions and and he told us and we seen it the fight was tough it wasn't it wasn't an easy fight Quadras was was uh was uh was a tough uh fighter in there and uh and and you know Canelo could see, feel the same you know the power the strength it's just uh, it's just a lot different but I still see Canelo winning a lot of people say that Charlo fight would be the most complicated one out of those three could, th could that be so well, break those down a little well, bit down know, for look, us Charlo's very skillful you know he's very skillful he guys he's got great skills and I'm sure he's, he's he wants that fight so bad so yeah it would be difficult but I don't see that I don't see that being I think I think I like heavyweights where he would have more complications what about going to cruiserweight well, you, you know do what? Does he have to prove he doesn't that? need to. And 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 look, if if he goes to cruiserweight, right now Canelo could do whatever he wants. But but going to cruiserweight, you know, against against that 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 champion that they were talking about, it's it's kind of you know, even though it, it would make history, no Mexican has ever done it, you know, stuff like that. But but I don't I don't think it's. Uh, I think I think yeah. him fighting. Charlo, Triple G, or or a light heavyweight. I think those fights are a lot more more uh, competitive. I think it'd be more just to make history and, and get a, a fifth division title. Uh, he'll be the first Mexican to ever do it. Uh, so so we uh, so you know he would make history. But there would be a lot of you know he's picking the, the the easiest opponent you know to make history, which he'll get a lot of criticism you know he already does anyway so i, I think uh I, I think i would i would i would do it if i was him fuck it people are still gonna talk shit but he will get a lot of shit for that robert always a pleasure to speak with you thank you so thank much you, i'll let you enjoy your Appreciate thank it. you so much thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on fight up tv and give us a follow online as well at fight up tv on twitter and on instagram we appreciate it, guys.